It's been uh, tremendous. Guys look different, they think different, so it, it makes it a, a little more uh, conducive for, for, for the energy and the juice to be flowing around. So we just got to keep that and maintain that. Between uh, Jalen and Jordan and Gary and Austin, you feel like right now maybe you've got at least four starter level guys for three spots? I think they have a head up because they played a little bit more ball than the other guys. But the, again, we're constantly evaluating. And my job is continue to prod and provoke these guys to get to that next realm of uh, their development. And uh, we can never be uh, in a settled mode. And uh, those guys are obviously not. They're working hard. And uh, we got some, some uh, candidates that are doing some, some good things so far. So. How would you evaluate Popo from when he started spring ball? Because he had to sit out. All fall that injury to where he's at now. Uh, Popo uh, did a phenomenal job of just getting his weight uh, under, of, uh, and that was one of the big things. He's trying to position himself to uh, condition. Um, obviously, being out for a year or a little bit more over a year, uh, that's a challenge. So, so far, so good. And uh, he's just got to continue to compete with the motor. That's that is starting point. You know, we have a, a progressive. Uh, fluid uh, movement as far as the, the depth chart. We don't have a set thing in stone, and those guys can continue to put it on film, and uh, the evaluation on film is just tremendous. And so, uh, like I always say to those guys, in, in like the NFL, don't tell me, show me. And those guys are continuing to work hard, and it, uh, so far, so good. With the majority of the defensive staff back, are you kind of feeling that continuity in camp for you guys, you know, off to a fast start? Yeah, ball? shoot, man. We, I think everybody knows where their place is. Uh, you know, we're just trying to coach our guys up by position and get them to that level to where they're uh, confident enough to take ownership. And again, uh, to have that continuity is uh, critical. A couple outside linebackers, and now with your group and Gus and Bryson, what kind of assets can they be for you? What kind of roles can they play? Man, they got length, um, very twitchy. Uh, short distance burst, those ski, those things uh, will help us in, in the long run as far as when we get into uh, putting together some personnel and some packages and let those guys loose. You know, our goal is not to sh uh, slow these guys out, but we got to uh, continue to work daily to put some teeth into uh, placing those guys in the right position to be productive. And uh, so far, those guys are, are working uh, working hard. It's only been a few days, but what have you seen from Sayone and, and kind of where do you think he can help you guys as well? Asuna is a, a big body. He's athletic. You know, he's swimming. You know, he had he didn't have a full summer with us, so uh, learn on the run. You know, and the uh, kid doesn't say much. He's just out there battling, and uh, looking forward to see him progress. Uh, but it's still too early to say. You know, his best position might be where you would like him at, or is that still fluid? Asuna doesn't care. You know, he just want to be in there and and do his part, and that's one of the things. We'll, we'll assess that as we move forward, but right now, uh, just trying to, to get them in, in, a, in, a, in a good shape and a, you know, work on the fundamentals and see if we can uh, bring them along. When you signed Andrew Folio, what, what's kind of the scouting report, the things that you like in this film and bring him up here? Ultra competitive uh, individual, uh, twitchy. Uh, again, when you combine power with the with, uh, with those uh, tangibles, man, it makes for a very productive, uh, active uh, defensive player. And for us, you know, sky's the limit with uh, Drew. You know, he's still, still young, and he's finding him uh, himself through this process. But uh, he is also another kid that doesn't shy away from competing. And we got to get that uh, moving forward in our evaluation. Got to get guys that are passionate about uh, the game, uh, because uh, at some point the talent's going to get tired, the talent's going to get a little sore. It's the passion and the drive that. Uh, makes these guys uh, be the players that they are. And those are the things that we're very, very uh, critical on as far as evaluating, especially in the defensive line position, because you don't get the luxury of reading about the, the fancy stuff you do, but the things that you don't get done, all right, up front, it's going to affect and impact everybody else on the back end. So. Jordan said he slimmed down a little bit over the offseason. Where do you guys want him at? And what's kind of like the balance between him being you know, a big presence in the middle of that line versus being able to, you know, do, do the things that you want him to do when he's... When well, he's I think he's just got to get to a comfortable uh, weight to where he's able to play a uh, little bit uh, longer uh, than normal. Uh, again, he's another uh, classic case of uh, a player that's very conscientious of maintaining that, that, that play, that elite level play. And for him, it's to uh, get get his body weight down and... and, and a tremendous job by, by our guys and our nutrition uh, department and our weight uh, program. Uh, it, it's also helped provide that uh, uh, for, for, for Jordan to have the confidence knowing that he's, he's trimming down and it shows. He's moving around 
uh, like a rabbit out there. And, uh, you know, it's got to continue to, to have that, and he knows that. And so um, you're going to see that pay dividends in this season. What was that Was that kind of the, the, the biggest development for that you guys wanted out of him in this offseason, like working on between year one, year one and year two? Is it just getting his body in the spot? Or, well, or? You know, he's still young. He, he's still going through a, 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 a process of, you know, trimming down and, and, and getting rid of the uh, baby fat. Uh, but, again, it goes to, along with, you know, a player that wants to play more and, and play hard for longer. And for him to have that, he's got to get in, a, in a, a decent shape to where he's able to manage and, and hold. And uh, so far, man, he's done a, a phenomenal job. And we're looking forward to it. And that's, that's all the guys. Jordan's a different body makeup with Jalen and so forth. So you really got to be realistic about your goals and expectations for each guy so that you're not brushing everybody with the same stroke. And uh, Big Jordan's going to be a big piece of what we're doing, and we hope to uh, bring along the other guys. With Jalen's production last year, people are going to be planning for him this year. What's his next step to make sure that he can keep improving despite the increased attention? His, his goal is to play outplay his yesterday. He continue to play harder and, 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 and compete. It really don't matter what people are going to do because, uh, again, he, he's always going to be a guy that's going to have his opportunities. We just got to continue to uh, support uh, him in, in just the fundamentals and uh, making sure that he's in tune with the, with the, the basic uh, uh, principles that, of our scheme that allow him to have those uh, kind of uh, production that he did last year.